to the Honorable Representative of Turkey. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair, and congratulations for a very active chairmanship. And let me also congratulate our incoming chair, uh, dear Buyar. This year, we are gathered under extraordinary circumstances due to ongoing war in Ukraine. Respect for territorial integrity, sovereignty, and political independence is at the core of the United Nations and is one of the founding principles of the OSCE. A decline of trust has brought the OSCE face to face with an existential crisis. And this has resulted also in, uh, in a deep uh, polarization. International order is again dominated by uh, zero-sum approaches. At the same time, we remember that the OSCE is a product of a more polarized Cold War uh, period. In almost half century after the Helsinki Final Act, OSCE has gained experience in managing the uh, conflict uh, cycle. We must reactivate these inherent strengths, uh, which is the core of the OSCE's comprehensive approach uh, to security. And we should also remember that consensus principle lies at the heart of this organization. Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, last year in Stockholm, I stressed the importance of addressing the lack of trust among the participating uh, states. And I thank the Polish presidency and my dear friend Zbigniew for focusing on this vital point uh, during the meetings uh, here. Trust can uh, be built uh, on principled policies. That is uh, how our facilitation efforts yield concrete results on the most immediate challenges in our common uh, geography. These included uh, the Istanbul grain deal that we brokered with the United Nations and the prisoner exchange meeting between the IAEA and EA and uh, Rosatom for the security of uh, Zaporozhye nuclear uh, uh, power plant. And there are various other confidential initiatives that uh, we are facilitating to end the ongoing war in Europe. A negotiated settlement is possible when diplomacy is given a chance, of course. And of course, it must be a fair uh, peace for Ukraine. Dear friends, undermining this vital platform will serve no one's interest. Turkey will continue to actively support OEC's work because we have no other platform as inclusive as uh, the OSC. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now I would like to give the floor to the distinguished